In this video, I'll be making a storm glass, an 18th century device that can supposedly predict the weather with its unique crystal formation brought about by subtle changes in air temperature. The instructions for how this instrument is to be read for weather prediction are detailed in the video description below. I'll leave it up to you to decide how well you believe it works. Regardless of function, a storm glass is a very beautiful device and an excellent lesson in solubility as it relates to temperature. The components of the liquid found in a storm glass consist of three solid chemicals dissolved in a solvent of ethanol and water. To keep things simple, the solvent I'll be using is 100 proof vodka, which off the shelf is already at a 50-50 ratio of water to ethanol. 300 milliliters is measured into a jar. The solid chemicals required are camphor, potassium nitrate, and ammonium chloride. Camphor is the most unusual of the three, with a strong smell like mint or menthol. It's sold in these one ounce tablet packs, often as a preventative for rust in toolboxes, as the waxy chemical sublimates and can form a protective layer on steel. The contents of one tablet pack, weighing 28 grams, is dropped into the pre-measured solvent. Next is measured 10 grams of potassium nitrate, which is roughly equal to a full teaspoon. Another 10 grams of ammonium chloride is the final ingredient. Dissolving the solids is done by lightly heating some water into which the jar of solution is placed. The heat will increase solubility. A lid can be set loosely on top during this time, with some ice cubes above to distill any alcohol that might try to evaporate. Do not use a ceiling ring or any sort of airtight lid while the jar is being heated. Doing so would cause pressure to build inside and may cause the jar to explode. Once all solids in the jar have dissolved, the burner can be turned off and the water cooled. Only after it has become cool enough to touch can the ring be safely fastened onto the jar, making it airtight. This is the final storm glass. Don't drink this. For best results, the glass should be kept outside or in a non-climate controlled room. As the weather changes, you'll notice new crystal behavior and formations every day. If you enjoyed this project, you can subscribe to my channel for more. To be sure you don't miss out on any future videos, go to my channel page and click the settings button to enable an email update whenever a new project is posted. Thanks for watching.